Good morning, everyone. In today's lecture, we are starting with EBS volume types. So first of all, we'll talk about that we are having different, different type of volumes. So we are having block volumes, right? And we are having block storage. We are also having object storage. So right now we are talking about block storage. So Amazon is offering you different, different type of volumes under EBS. So you need to understand that why you need to take a different volume type. So this totally depends upon the type of application you're using. So let's suppose you are using an application and that application needs more IOPS. So your volume type will be different. Or maybe your application needs more uh, throughput. In that case, you will be having a different volume type. So we'll talk about storage properties. If I talk about storage properties, so there are two storage properties. Now the first is known as IOPS. So IOPS is known as input output per second. That means how many reads and writes can be performed per second is known as IOPS. How many reads and writes can be performed per second is known as IOPS, right? So let's suppose your company is running a OLTP, online transaction processing application. So if your company is running an OLTP, online transaction processing application, so maybe your application will be needing a specific level of IOPS, right? So if you will go to the market and purchase a hard drive, so that hard drive will be having a limited IOPS and throughput, right? Second property is throughput. Throughput means how much data can be sent from a given point per second is known as throughput. So let's suppose your company is running a data analytics application. So if your company is running a data analytics application, and let's suppose you are processing 200 MB data per second. So in that case, you need to have that kind of IOPS. So that kind of IOPS is required in that particular case, right? So what Amazon is offering you, Amazon gave it a name called EBS, Elastic Block Storage. So Elastic Block Storage is mean, means that means it is elastic. Like depending upon your requirement, you can increase your IOPS or you can increase your support, right? So we are having three type of storage devices which are available in EBS, right? Now, the first is SSD. Now, SSD is known as solid state drive. It is the costliest and the fastest drive which is available these days. In SSD, we are going to get three different volume types, right? So the first is GP2. Now, GP2 is known as journal purpose storage, right? So in general purpose storage, you are not going to get any customized IOPS and throughput. So whatever you will get with the volume, you will get with GP2. So GP2 is your default volume type, right? But let's suppose you are looking for more IOPS. So in that case, you can go with, in that case, you can go with provision. IOPS SSD. So in case of provision IOPS SSD, without increasing the size of the volume, you can only increase IOPS. So that means you will not be paying for the storage. You will only be paying additionally for the IOPS. So it can be available. It is available in the form of 1 is to 50. That means per, per GB, you can get 50 IOPS. So for per GB, you can get 50 IOPS, right? But let's suppose your requirement is more than this. You're looking for more IOPS. So in that case, you can go with provision IOPS SSD version 2. So in this case, you can get 1 is 2,000. So with per every 1 GB, you can get 1,000 IOPS, right? But let's suppose you have an application where you need IOPS and throughput both. You need IOPS and throughput both. So if you need IOPS and throughput both, so in that particular case, what you will be needing is, in that case, you can go with GP3, journal purpose 3. So you can increase IOPS and you can also increase throughput. So IOPS and throughput both can be increased if you will take GP3. So GP2 is the default volume type. This can be asked in an interview. If you need to increase IOPS and throughput both, GP3, we need to only increase IOPS, 1 is to 50 ratio, provisioned IOPS SSD, 
provision i of this is the version 1 1 is 2000 right so initially your servers your databases your oltps they will be using ssd right and you can see we can select different volume types or the next is hdd hdd is known as hard disk drive so in case of hard disk drive you know that it is a cheaper drive in comparison to ssd right and once your data will become infrequently accessed you can prefer sending that data to your hdd so in hdd you will be getting two options one is old hdd so that means let's suppose you are having very very large amount of data which is less frequently accessed if the data which you are having that is less frequently accessed you will not prefer putting it into ssd you will prefer putting it into old hdd right so that means the data which you are having it is less frequently accessed it will be accessed once in a while so you should have to put it into a cheaper drive right but let's suppose the data which you have that is frequently accessed or maybe that data is in large quantity but it will be accessed by a data analytics application so if that data will be accessed by a data analytics application so in that particular case you can go with throughput optimized hdd so in case of throughput optimized hdd you can increase the throughput of that particular volume so it will be increased it is directly proportional on the size of the volume, right? So maximum, it could be 500 MB per second of HDD. And the third drive is magnetic. So magnetic is a technology which we are not using these days. But if you will see, uh, this will be only used for testing workloads, right? 